So you might have heard about this thing that's happening in September. Storm Area 51, they can't stop all of us. Apparently 300,000 people are going, um, and out of those 300,000 people, I'd say there's probably gonna be about 11 that actually show up. The Facebook group was clearly created just for a meme, but I don't know, it's gotten so big that I feel like there will be a couple people that actually go. Definitely not nowhere near 300,000 though. I seen people in comments though saying that this would actually work if 300,000 people did go and do this. People are saying that that will work. No, it wouldn't. They can kill people for going past the no entry zone. If they see 300,000 people show up, they'd just whip out the Modern Warfare 2 kill streaks, Or maybe even the ray guns, uh, you know, because we don't know what they've got in there. But let's say it did work, and some people did actually make it to the base somehow. Isn't there going to be locked gates or locked doors that they're not going to be able to get through? Imagine running to Area 51. You've dodged all these bullets, you've managed to survive somehow, and you get there and you can't even get in because the door's locked. Plus, this event was planned three months before it actually happened so they just moved the aliens to another base before it even happened. That way, if someone actually did end up getting in, the UFOs and aliens wouldn't even be there. But like I said, I know it's just a meme. I know it's not actually going to happen. I'm just trying to figure out what would actually happen if 300,000 people did try and storm Area 51. But this gave me an idea, so I went into paint and made a design. This is how I think you could get into Area 51. So instead of going this way, right, just, you know, running towards the base, you're risking, or you're not even risking, you're going to get shot by God and whatever else is over there. So instead of going that way, dig underground and then dig up into the base. That way, they won't see you coming. For the people that watch my Minecraft Let's Play on my second channel, this will probably remind you of a video that I made about four or five weeks ago now where I raided a pillager tower. And I think Minecraft is a great way of demonstrating this plan, show you guys how it would really work out in the in real life. All right, so this isn't my Minecraft world that I've been playing in my Minecraft Let's Play. This is just a brand new world made for this demonstration. So as you can see out here, we've got a pillager tower. In this demonstration, the pillager tower is Area 51. If we go over to this tower real quick aka area 51 you can see it's guarded by pillagers uh, and the pillagers all have crossbows so if you get anywhere close to this base they're gonna run after you and they're gonna kill you i know because it happened to me no i, I ran into this tower and there's like a bunch of enemies in it i thought it was like a villager thing but I've also put it on hard difficulty to, um, you know, for a realistic simulation of real life. As you can see, the guards are all out. Some of them are coming very close, so I'm going to dig down now. You might be wondering, how do you find the base? How do you know where you are underground? You don't. You've just got to estimate how far you've gone. Um, but you can always dig up and check. Like that shows that I'm still outside, so I'm not in there yet. We'll keep going then. Where are we now? That's how you know we're in, because it's wood. So let's whip out the axe. And we've done it. We're in. Safely. Look at that. I'm in Area 51. I got past all of the guards. Look, all the guards are out there. Oh, crap. Obviously, when you're in there, you don't want to alert everyone outside. I mean, what would be the point of that? Hey, look, guards, I broke into your base. <laughs> Jesus. He figured out what I did. There's a... What? There's a creeper in there. Somehow a creeper made it in. Look at that. There's pillagers all around here. Pillagers down there. Pillagers over there. There's pillagers underneath here. Look, he thinks he's guarding Area 51. Mate, I'm already in it. He doesn't even have a clue that there's an underground tunnel right underneath him. Now, getting in there is one thing, but of course you've got to escape as well. You can't stay in here forever. They are going to figure out what you've done eventually when they see the staircase built into the, you know, tower. So what you want to do is you want to take the aliens, go back underground, and run away. Genius! I don't see how this wouldn't work in real life. Boom, you're at the tower, away from the guards, and then you can go home. You can leave and no one will ever know that you've been there. Other than the security cameras, of course. I think this is a fail-proof plan. Nothing, I, I can't see anything going wrong doing this in real life. Or maybe what you could do is you could go onto the opposite side of Earth. So for example, let's say Area 51 is here and you are here. You could then dig straight through Earth and then you could land inside Area 51. That one's gonna take a little bit more digging, but I feel like that would still work. Why is he teabagging me? But yeah, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Um, I just wanted to give my thoughts about this new Area 51 meme 
thing event. I really can't wait to see what happens on the 20th of September, I think it is. I really can't wait to see if people actually show up. And if they do, how many people show up? Because I, I can guarantee you it sure as hell won't be nowhere near 300,000. But yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Definitely subscribe if you're new here. And I'll see you all in my next video.